So I'm on a bit of a reading spree. Reading as in listening. Now, what's interesting to me is that for a very long time, and I mean like the longevity of my life, I've had a hard time reading. Not because I don't want to learn. I love, absolutely love to learn. But even reading something like a thousand word blog post, if I saw the length, I would probably give up on it, honestly. And so it's not that I don't want to learn that, whatever that thing is teaching me. I just don't want to read it. I would rather listen to it. I'd rather um, maybe watch a video about it. So recently I have gotten back into the world of working out, right? So that was starting a new habit. And so um, by starting that habit, I recognized that maybe I could create this new habit, which was listening to content. So I have an iPhone, I have my iPod, and what was cool about it is that I was looking at how I was consuming content when I wasn't, you know, working out. And I realized that, oh, maybe I could listen to this instead of listening to music, I could be kind of multitasking or swimming with music, riding my bike with music, working out, lifting with music, or that's what I would do before. And then I was like, oh, well, maybe I could do this with podcasts. Oh, okay, maybe I can do this with books. And so the first book that I listened to on audio was Bob Berg and the Go-Giver Influencer. And so Bob Berg's obviously been on the show. What's interesting, though, is that was like my first like go at it. And I was like, okay, let's, let's do another one. Let's do another one. I listen to podcast. So I just finished this book called the power of habit. It's by Charles Duhigg. I'll put all this in the show notes too. It's called the power of habit. Why we do what we do in life and in business It's a New York times bestseller uh, recommended to me by a couple of people. It's also just in insanely popular right as i'm looking at it online right now it's number 11 on amazon alone and it's just it's 444 in books and it's just interesting now to me it's it's a lot of science i guess and it's a lot of kind of research so it took me a while to get into this but once i started getting into it i really enjoyed it and so it was interesting because it was like if you start one thing If you could start one habit, one really small habit, no matter what it is, it is likely that other habits will change too. And I found that insanely interesting because I changed the habit of working out. You know, now I work out every day. This is not a go work out podcast. This is not a go work out, you know, oh, you need to be working out to do what, what. It's just saying I changed this one thing. I started working out every single day. And then I started changing other habits too. And that's basically what the book is telling you. That if you can do one very, very, even minimal habit change, it will likely change other habits as well. Some of the examples that he uses are with a business trying to be super safe when that's not really the metric that they attract before. And yet that safety changed a bunch of other things as well. Other habits came with it. And so what's interesting to me is that by changing one habit, you can change many habits because you just get into this cycle loop. And so basically it's saying, and it's really, really, the, you guys should definitely check it out. I'll put it in the show notes as well. But what's interesting is it it's, it, gosh, it's probably a 10 or 11 hour audio read. Um, I don't know how long the actual book is, but it basically takes you through a lot of scenarios how we react to a scenario. And so let's say that you found yourself, I don't think this is in the book, this is just an example I'm gonna say. Let's say you found that you wanted to give up fast food. Actually, an example like this is in the book. Let's say you want to give up a certain type of food, yet every day at a certain time, you left your office or your home, whatever, to go get that food. Instead of going to that fast food place, which is that habit, the book would say, go somewhere else, maybe eat an apple instead, what are you addicted to that food or are you addicted to the habit of getting out it could just be like smoking right where are you addicted to the to the nicotine or are you addicted to that break right or are you not even addicted to that is it just the habit that's there and so it's really interesting a lot of research that goes through it but what 
what really hit my mind and what was really interesting to me was how now that I've just read this book, and it's so interesting how I'm reading all these books and just they are all hitting at a certain right time. I do think that you have to read books at the right time when it makes sense. And so oftentimes, sometimes I've been telling people to go read certain books and they're like, I don't know why you love this that much. And I'm like, you're not at that point in your life. I just happen to be at that point in life. And so it's, it's, it's been interesting how some of these things um, hit at the right time. How like the, the universe just works in mysterious ways. So if you are you, you have to get out of these habits. So what can you do? to get out of the habit, right? So instead so instead of going and eating something bad, eat an apple, go down, do some push-ups. So you're creating a new habit. And then over time, and it doesn't take a long time, over time though, that habit goes away and you've created a new habit. Quick hack though, Zach hack, if you have a library in your backyard, which you probably should in your community, make sure you go get a library card. That's number one. Number one. Number two is, they might have some sort of ebook or audible audiobook uh free book rental i consume books in a couple of different ways one while i'm working out and the other one some people listen to music while they're working i try and listen to content podcasts books whatever and so a lot of the books that i'm able to read now i don't even have to pay for which was great i feel bad that i'm not paying the author i'm sure they're getting paid in some kind of royalty is i just go to this thing for me it's called overdraft uh, the norfolk public library has it and i'm able to download uh, a series of audiobooks they don't have a ton so at some point i'm going to be done but i have like three or four in my queue right now i'm reading um Principles by Ray Dahlia. I just finished The Power of Habit. I'm also listening to Un Yourself by someone. But all these different things I'm not even paying for, which is great because they're all on my list of what I want to do. And so check that out because then you don't have to pay for your library books. I also have an Audible account where I get several books a month. Um, and I just, I, I, it, what's interesting is so now there's this habit of I never wanted to read before. And now like because I changed one habit. All I want to do is read now, consume, you know, educate myself more and more and more. And I love learning from their people. One thing that I learned from, you'll see it right here, Ramit Sethi's book, uh, I Will Teach You to Be Rich. Great book. Great finance book. Probably one of the best finance books that most people don't talk about. Uh, it's definitely a bestseller. I don't know if it's New York Times, but do is super great. He said one thing like, when you buy a book... Try and get one nugget out of it. And if you can get one nugget out of it and learn from that and act on that, that 15 to 20 bucks was worth it. And I totally agree with that. Little hint, when you buy Anomaly, there's more than one, one little nugget. There's at least two. I'd probably guarantee that you would get at least two. Or your money back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to regret saying that at some point in life. There's a caveat there. There's a little asterisk there. But consume, Right? We're looking for more time to do things. We probably have more time than we think. Actually, I know we have more time than we think to get stuff done in your car, at the gym. Listen, listen to stuff. You know, like it was hard for me to read before, right? I have so many books, probably many of those up there and many that are scattered around that I haven't finished. It's not that I don't want to finish them. It's just that it was harder for me to finish when on audio, it's fairly easy for me to get that done. So Go to your library, get the free account, get the free audiobooks. If that doesn't work, I'll give you one free book um, from my Audible account. I can send it to you if you don't have an Audible account. I can give you one of the nine or ten that I've rented so far. I can give you one of them. If you want to know what they are, hit me up. Hit me up in the messages, the comments, or email me. It's my name, Z-A-C-K, at startwithhatch.com. Gladly I'll hook you up with that, one of the books that I've rented. right? Then also... Um, get the library account because you can get a bunch of free books there too, right? Or just go on YouTube or podcast or whatever. Consume more, right? So by starting one small little habit, it's gotten me to basically get in the habit of I'm loving learning from all these people. And maybe it's because I'm, you know, an author now too and I want to learn from other people as well and learn what they're doing. But it's just, it's uh, contagious. And so I'm appreciative to have learned about the power of habit and the things that they do in there while 
minor little changes in your life can change a habit, then get you to do another one. I think that's powerful. So I appreciate you guys listening, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. If there's anything that you want me to talk about, let me know. Until next time, deuces.